now coming to the assembly part keep the body for the second part take the bearing bottom half go for assembly give axial align and choose this now again go for mate click this surface and the inside surface of the one and this so we got this now go here click and here the rotation is unlocked click over there and make it lock give it ok now it's done again go to the parts library take the bearing top half again give axial align click the cylinders sorry again axial align this with this again mate this go for mate give mate of command select this and this surface so that it's fully positioned now take the cap again the same thing give over for axial align this and this now again axial align select this cylinder and the cylinder over here now we can see that both the cylinders are perfectly done go over here take the bearing top half its rotation is not locked lock it give it ok the cap is fully positioned so we need not change it now go to library here we have bolt take the bolt Again go for axial align this cylinder over here now it's given again turn here we have to move this a little bit now go for mate command mate this circle with this surface again go to this click over here give a right click and make it flip when it's not aligned take it outside just give move command and just align it properly again go to the bolt part give it flip option even though it's not move go for move then move a little bit now it's done lock its moment go take the again the bolt again same axial align repeat the previous thing this this cylinder it's not done so move it let it out now 
rotate a bit then hide this surface and give a flip turn this a bit now move this to a little bit lock its rotation since this is not on unlock first then give more option so that we can adjust this if it's not aligning we have to unlock this move this part wet outside go for planar align this surface this surface anyway we can do it further just lock it now again go for ISO now take the lock nut first give it axial align this cylinder this cylinder move it up now go for mate command mate this surface this surface it's fully position now lock its rotation again take another lock nut give axial align sorry axial align this cylinder over here again move it can give mate now take nut repeat the pressure Again take nut, repeat the position.
Now take the shaft. Go for axial. Align this cylinder with this cylinder. Now we can move this to our convenience. See to it that it's visible on both ends. Now it's done.